yes very good morning my dear students uh, today we will have a discussion on uh, supercharger so this question is very very important okay na so very interesting also so what is the main use of superchargers in a vehicle so the main purpose of using superchargers in a vehicle is to increase the power output of an engine okay na how the to increase the efficiency of an uh, engine so that we can move vehicle very fast that is the main purpose of superchargers okay so it is a boosting the engine okay engine efficiency so supercharger means uh, it is used to um, boost the engine performance or engine efficiency okay na so definition is nothing but a supercharger it is an equipment that compresses the air being delivered to the engine uh, allowing the combustion chamber to overfill without an enlarging the space so that is about a supercharger okay so it will compress the what we are what it will suck the air from the atmospheric and deliver to the engine so allowing the combustion chamber to be overfilled without enlarging so in the combustion chamber we will should not be uh, fill that is it should not be filled over overloaded okay na? so that is the main purpose of uh, supercharger so just you understand that supercharger is nothing but it is a it is the main function of supercharger using in automobile sector means to boost the engine or to increase the power output of an fn uh, of an engine okay na so also if, if the engine efficiency will it will boost okay the higher concentration of an oxygen provided by a superchargers it is matched within a larger amount of fuel from the fuel injectors thus the boosting of an power output can be takes place okay na here the some uh, superchargers i shown here so okay na this is the diagram it will be fitted to the automobile so why we require supercharger side is same to increase the power of an output engine okay na to increase the torque produced okay uh, third one is an efficiently working supercharger can achieve the same speed in one third time if you are not using means you can get easily okay na and it is necessary to it is necessary it is must necessary in aeroplanes as they have less oxygen at a altitude okay na and ensure complete combustion of an fuel and reduce the pollutant to some extent so by using supercharger we can not only engine boost we can reduce some uh, Uh, pollutant uh, produced by the vehicle okay so how it will work principle okay so before this uh, the more fuel that is a number of more fuel plus more air that is in a bigger explosion so then we will get a more power that is in what the supercharge formula will tell this is not a formula but this is an idea so but we cannot simply pump the more fuel into the engine uh, okay now but there will be some mixture that is a proper mixture will take will takes place inside uh, before entering into the engine cylinder that is chemical mixture that is 15 is to 1 that is air is 15 fuel is equal to 1 so it is essential for an engine to operate perfectly Like this is a normal uh, proportional required to uh, operate an engine okay thus the supercharger provides more air by compressing the air by the atmospheric pressure and hence providing the more fuel into the charge and would make more a powerful explosion so this is the function uh, takes place with the help of charger supercharger so that can be compressed air and from the atmosphere that will be sent to the cylinder and engine so that we can get a more power explosion that is more combustion takes place so that by due to this we can get the increased power and torque and speed also we can achieve what we accept okay so normally uh, there are three uh, there are number of superchargers are for reversal level there are three superchargers are used so that is a uh, root superchargers centrifugal superchargers that is a vein supercharger that is a twin screw superchargers so all these superchargers are fixed to the uh, vehicles okay so so as just you remember forget about definition you just to remember that supercharger charger means justing boost okay na boosting that is called as charger super means superior so how that working for the there are root supercharger how it will so this root supercharger will connected to the uh, combustion chamber that is an uh, ic engine okay na cylinder uh, that here they are using uh, some amount of uh, fuel okay so as a, a meshing loop spin air trapped into the pocket between the loops is carried between the fill the side and the discharge side and a large quantity of air move into the intake manifold and stack up to create a positive pressure okay root superchargers are usually large and sit on the top of the engine so these are used for the top of the superchargers okay root superchargers are the least efficient superchargers for the two region these are the used for the two region that is they add more weight to the vehicle or they add or they provide an air in a discrete burst instead of providing a smooth or continuous manner okay now so this is about the working root superchargers so same here the root superchargers are fixed to the uh, that is what uh, 
engine and uh, so directly the air is sucked here that is passing into the uh, engine cylinder that is cylinder chamber where here mixed while well, combustion takes place here they will mix it uh, finely so then that will uh, enters into the cylinder here the uh, combustion takes place okay now root super chassis is fixed at the this side left, left hand side okay just to remember this second one is twin screw superchargers so here it is also to uh, uh, operated by a pulling air through a, a pair of meshing loops um, that resemble a set of worm gears okay this, with the help of some worm gears they are using suck the air from the atmospheric and the this superchargers compress the air inside the rotor uh, inside the rotor housing okay now by this uh, uh, we can smoothly enter into the air in the combustion chamber as the air pockets shrink the air is squeezed into a smaller space so this supercharger is fixed to the here okay that's the more efficient compared to rotor so as compared to before one this supercharger is most efficient for the uh, combustion okay so centrifugal supercharger the, as compared to those two this is very very important and it will reaches a very high rpm that is 50000 to 60000 rpm it is a supercharger work by powering an impeller devices okay by with the help of rotor a bit very uh, high speed to quickly draw air into a small compressor housing so it will be very very quick suck the air from the atmosphere it will send to the combustion chamber so these are the most efficient and most common induction system for in the for your syllabus also this question is very very important many times they ask you this explain within it case centrifugal superchargers okay so just you working is same so just methods are different okay so all the superchargers are used to uh, boost the engine efficiency it will suck the air from the atmosphere and uh, equal proportional they will mixture then they will send okay now that is the main concept of this using superchargers so how it will work means same the air is drawn in the hub of the impeller centrifugal force by the help of centrifugal force causes to a uh, radiate outward okay now it will fuel side so here this is a uh, symbol this is a centrifugal chamber discharge side okay now Mm, the air leaves the impeller at a high speed but low pressure i take differ convert the high speed and low pressure air low speed and high pressure air okay thus the pressure air is achieved so from the atmospheric pressure it will suck the air and it will rotor main part main function of rotor is to rotate during that uh, suction will created that suction will pass into the cylinder so that is a working so oh, to supply this uh, power they can use a belt uh, for v-belt uh, okay flat belt for transmitting the power okay gear drive also they are using chain drive also using okay now for uh, drives used in a superchargers on exhaust gas during exhaust gases axial turbine are using radial turbine are using okay now other means they can use electric motor or engine okay these are the, some of the advantages by using superchargers so it will increase the power and no lag period within the time period we can um, deliver the power okay generally better throttle the response is with there and no special procedure or extra maintenance is not there easier to install through turbocharger okay as compared to turbocharger and disadvantage of superchargers so it will consume a lot of power from the engine so increase the strain on the engine expensive and noise so during some time it will create a noise also that is also in disadvantage of superchargers okay so this is about the advantage disadvantage and it is almost super almost used in all the vehicles okay uh, almost all the vehicles so this is about the applications uh, okay I hope you understand this supercharger concept. Thank you.